this past Sunday uh, was the second Sunday in a row uh, where the second reading was taken from the letter of the Apostle James. And uh, both readings for the last two weeks have taken on a similar theme and one that is particularly useful uh, as we begin to prepare ourselves for the celebration of the season of Advent, because uh, they both have to do with the quality of our prayer and provide some good guidance on the things that we ought to pray for rather than the things that we tend to pray for. Two weeks ago, the Apostle James wrote, you ask and you do not receive because you ask wrongly. In this past weekend's reading, he spends a good bit of time consoling the uh, more affluent members of the community, telling them that, yeah, I mean, everything that you own is one day going to return to the dust from which it was made. And the guidance that both of these readings provide for us is that we ought to be very cautious in praying for earthly things, because anything that is not a human soul will one day return to the dust from which it was made. And so, uh, in perhaps in a rather indirect way, the Apostle James is reminding us that when we pray, uh, ask to be shown the emptiness of the earth and all that it contains, and to be shown the fullness of heaven and to be reminded of the shortness of time and the length of eternity. So, taking this advice to heart as it forms our prayers, again, in preparation for the celebration of the season of Advent, remember that God is who He says He is, you are who He says you are, and live the life that He wants you to live.